हेलो स्टूडेंट्स टुडे आई एम गोइंग टू डिस्कस लुइज डॉट स्ट्रक्चर ऑफ सल्फेट एंड कार्बोनेट रेडिकल एट द सेम टाइम आई एम आल्सो गोइंग टू डिस्कस इलेक्ट्रॉनिक एंड द मॉलिकुलर जियोमेट्री ऑफ सल्फेट टू माइनस एंड कार्बोनेट टू माइनस फर्स्ट आई एम गोइंग टू ड्रॉ द लुइज डॉट स्ट्रक्चर ऑफ सल्फेट टू माइनस दिस इज सल्फेट टू माइनस रेडिकल सल्फर हैज सिक्स बैलेंस इलेक्ट्रॉन्स टू थ्री फोर फाइव सिक्स नाउ ऑक्सीजन ऑल्सो हैज सिक्स बैलेंस इलेक्ट्रॉन्स वन टू थ्री फोर फाइव सिक्स देर आर फोर ऑक्सीजन सो फर्स्ट आई एल बी ड्रॉइंग द ऑक्सीजन एटम्स वन टू थ्री वन टू थ्री फोर फाइव सिक्स then one more oxygen 1 2 3 4 5 the last oxygen 6 so now so4 2 minus mean there are two electrons which is added to the two oxygen atoms so here i can use a different color so this is one electron oxygen should become minus and here also i can use one electron so now here we can see these two oxygens are getting seven electrons and other two oxygens they have six valence electrons so now to fulfill the octet these two oxygen will be sharing two electrons with the sulfur now they will be sharing only one electron means o minus oxygen so then structure of sulfate 2 minus is s has double bond with these two oxygen atoms and single bond with the o minus so here oxygen has three lone pairs and it is sulfate 2 minus so this is the lewis dot structure of sulfate 2 minus now we have to check what is the hybridization of the sulfur here so for that we have to check number of sigma bonds and the lone pairs which is connected with sulfur so there is no lone pair so it has 1 2 3 4 4 sigma bonds so sulfur has 4 sigma bonds Four sigma bonds mean sulfur is sp3 hybridized. Since here no lone pairs are present, so electronic geometry is equal to molecular geometry. So geometry will be tetrahedral. So we can draw the tetrahedral geometry properly. Is next i am going to draw the lewis dot structure of carbonate carbon has four electrons 1 2 3 4 valence electrons oxygen has six valence electrons 1 2 3 4 5 6 3 1 2 3 4 5 6 6 and one more oxygen i have to draw 1 2 3 4 five, 6 now here we can see carbonate 2 minus so that means two electrons i have to add the oxygen only because oxygen is more electronegative than carbon so that's why two electrons were adding in the two oxygen atom and they are getting negatively charged now we have to share the electrons to make the covalent bond so here oxygen has already seven electrons so they will be sharing only one electron each to form one single bond 
Similarly, this O minus also sharing one electron with the carbon, and the another carbon will be sharing with two electrons with oxygen atom. Then structure is carbon single bond with oxygen two three four five six and here also three lone pairs one two three four five six negatively charged and it is a double bond this so this is the lewis dot structure of carbonate radical now we have to see that what is the hybridization of the carbon here as I have already mentioned in the previous slide that first we have to check number of sigma bonds and the lone pair which is associated with the central element carbon. So here we can see it has three sigma bond. So that means carbon is sp2 hybridized. So here molecular geometry and electronic geometry will be same because there is no lone pair. So sp2 means it is molecular geometry or electronic geometry will be trigonal planar. So now we can draw the structure correctly like this is trigonal planar structure this O minus has three lone pairs Or we can write the structure two lone pair so this is the molecular geometry of carbonate radical and this is the Lewis dot structure of carbonate radical